In this session, we're going to set up what's called a non-inventoriable item. So what is a non-inventoriable item? What that is, is it's something that you would like to charge to your customers uh, for which you don't actually need to track an on-hand quantity um, or ins and outs for. An example would be freight charges or services or other labors or charges that you would like to um, include as an amount on an invoice to a customer, um, but you don't want to track how many uh, or need to track how many you have on hand. So as an example, I'm going to click on items. And you see I already have an item, a non-inventoriable item here set up called freight charges. Uh, we're going to set up another one called service charge. So what I'll do is from the item list, I'm going to click on new. The system is auto assign 1003 for my new item. For more information on how the system assigns uh, numbers to new records in the system, please refer to our separate video on using and maintaining number series. We'll call this service charge. And the key field is the type field here. So by default, the system assumes that every item you're creating is an inventory item and we want to track on hand quantities. Uh, but in this case, we're going to call this a service item. Uh, this is the field that um, will require not require us to track those quantities. I do have a unit of measure. I can still use all of the same uh, features of an item. Uh, obviously, my, my stock out warning and negative inventory uh, are not relevant, um, but I can set up a unit price, a default service charge, let's set that to $15.